Hi everybody, I hope you had a wonderful Father's Day weekend. I know that the banning of critical race theory in some states uh, has made a lot of news around, around the nation. And I think you'll be surprised to learn that I actually don't think that's a great idea long term. Please allow me to explain why. As you know, most parents rather not be doing this. We rather be doing uh, things that, that make us happy, that spending time with our kids, uh, being productive citizens, uh, raising our families, doing our businesses, our hobbies, which is why that these school districts, uh, all of them, lie to you and say, we are not teaching critical race theory. They are, of course, because it's not a curriculum. It's actually a whole change of culture, and they know what they're doing. Look at the books that they're recommending teachers to read. They know what the hell they're doing. But they lie to us because they know that there's a big part of parents that wants it to be so true that they're not, that all of this is just a big misunderstanding. We know it's not, but there's a big part of us that really hope that it is so that we can go back uh, to our lives and not have to worry about this, that we can trust the school districts again. Unfortunately, that's not true, and we know that's not true. The reason why I think banning critical race theory on the state level is not a great idea is because that gives parents a sense of false security. The governor says, we've banned it. Everyone says, yay, we've won. And then they go back to sleep. They put their heads back down, which is why we are in this position to begin with. In California, parents put their heads down all the way to the point where the state's the way it is and the school district's the way it is, all of them. And it's because we just didn't pay attention. We just told ourselves that this is, can't be true. It can't be true. So instead of banning critical race theory, which if they do, fine, I'm not, I'm not going to oppose that. I'm just not a big proponent of it. Instead, I'm a big proponent of having more transparency for, uh, for parents. Uh, curriculum, books that are being added, uh, books that teachers are reading. I want parents to have full transparency uh, on what it is, that we should be sent emails and notices and social media, and that we should know exactly what's being uh, done, and that we should have a platform where we can voice our uh, opinions on it. And I want easier access for parents into the classrooms. I want easier access to, uh, for parents to uh, principals and superintendents uh, and administrators and counselors. They block, they slowly remove us. And that's exactly what they did in California. Slowly, parents are, are out of the equation. Uh, it's not so bad here in Indiana yet, but you can start seeing that. They make it difficult. Emails don't get answered. Uh, meetings become just a running out the clock. They don't really answer your question. So instead, I want to push for policies that give us more transparency. So that way, parents stay engaged and we keep the administrators and the school board and the, and the teachers honest. And on top of that, we are able to give support for the teachers who honestly want to only teach academics, that they don't want to get involved in this. And, and so I want to have policies where we can support teachers who just wants to teach education and leave the rest at home. Right now, I know teachers don't have that. I've heard from so many teachers that are afraid to speak up. And, and so we need a platform for that they can speak up safely. And so these are the things that will change, in my opinion, the school district for the better. Just having one law up uh, from the governor saying we're going to ban critical race theory doesn't actually do anything. I think that actually allows uh, these die officers like Terry over at Carmel. It allows these crazy lunatics to just change a few phrases and words and they'll abide by the letter of the law. But obviously they're not, uh, they're not abiding by the spirit of the law. And they'll, they'll still be inserting all these things into, into, into the hallways and into the classroom uh, of our kids. So that's my... That's my big push today. I, I want everyone to just remember that there are no magic bullets to this problem. There isn't. And we all cause this because we put our heads in the ground. And anything that uh, promotes us going back, putting our heads back in the ground, I'm totally against that. I'm more for encouraging, empowering, engaging parents to be involved in schools, to be involved with their kids, and to have the schools, because we pay for this with our tax dollars, that the schools have a bigger transparency mechanism for parents to be engaged. All right, so uh, keep punching, keep moving forward. I see that you guys are doing amazing work out there uh, and I look forward to uh, meeting you all that I haven't met yet. Take it easy.